all right guys so welcome back i wanted to officially welcome you to the 20th episode of our red dead redemption 2 pc walkthrough i also just wanted to take a quick second of your time within this intro to just give you guys a big thanks for just overall supporting the channel and most importantly supporting me whether you've been around the channel since Call of Duty days, seven years ago or so, or if you just found out about this channel right now. I don't talk about it much, but I think about it every single day. Every single day, how crazy, like, my life is. It's crazy. Anyways, I'm so happy to be back. Um, as most of you know, this is my favorite game of all time. This is just one of those games that just keeps on giving and... I feel like, man, I, I could play this game for the rest of my life, I swear. But um, within the story, we are at a, as I mentioned last time, we are at a very pivotal moment in the story. I don't think there's going to be many happy moments anymore moving forward. There's going to be a lot of drama. Um, it's going to get very, very, very real and very fast. So if you haven't experienced this story, or even if you have, this is where the game really, really just flips upside down and just gets all out right crazy all right we can take a look at arthur and yeah you could just i'm just gonna shut up okay i'm just gonna shut up before i mess anything up but today we have a very important mission and by the way we've got our white arabian back Oh, I have missed you. Forgotten you. Oh, yeah, you see? Now, for this video, we're going to head over to St. Denis, and we're going to pin Sadie Adler's mission. And within this mission, we are going to be doing one of the most important missions in the entire game. And from this point on is where Sadie Adler really starts to shine. And first and foremost, obviously, we're going to go rescue... John Marston from from prison. He's gonna be killed. To me, I feel like it's a very important mission. It's a really good mission, and it's one of my favorite missions, amongst many of the ones that I love in this game. But um, this is actually where Sadie Adler starts to shine, and her character really starts to blossom. And I'll be honest, she was definitely a character that I never expected to have such a high. I don't know. Or such an impactful role within this story to the point that when the game finished oh wow look at the freaking weather when the game finished people were dying for rockstar to drop dlcs you know and one one of the most requested dlcs was just sadie adler dlc you know unfortunately we never got it we never really got any main story dlc which i really did get bummed out by the fact that we never got anything like that but um anyways i'm drifting a little bit here but I do feel like um, I should probably go to the barber before we even do anything else. God, the weather is insane right now. Hold on, where's the barber here? Let me see if I can go to the barber real quick. The barber is... um, Where is Le Baba? Sadie Adler is actually right here. All right. Let's, let's pin the barber real quick. I... Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you what? okay, mister? I didn't recall this happening right now. Mister, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. 
Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll be fine in a minute. I'm fine. You head in there, friend. Go on. <sighs> A fork in the road. Can I help you? I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. I forgot it was actually r right now. I thought we had like another episode or something. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. You have it in you, I can tell.
I really didn't remember this being like right after coming from the island. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. When you play Red Dead Redemption 1 and you know the outcome of that and then you know the outcome of this game. This is the best fucking game ever, ever. Especially when you pair it up with RDR1, with Red Dead Redemption 1. It's so drastic, so devastating. Oh. I think that's a sign of good honor. You are sick. While sick, you only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food. Uh. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. God damn it. Ah. Uh. Beard sure looks ready for a trim. Shut your ass up. I'm fucking sick, asshole. I need a haircut. Right, mister. So, what do you need? <sighs> I kind of want to give ourselves a new a new do-over. Just to be fresh. You know what I mean? And I could... Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know we could go bald. I actually didn't know that. I don't think it was unlocked before. Or was it? I just probably didn't see it. All right, so this is the buzz, which looks actually horrible. This is the swept back. I think we... Oh, these are new haircuts. That's what it is. And this one. But, nah, this is good. I'm going to get this one. Thank you. Looks okay. Looks pretty good, Arthur. We're gonna rock the beard for now. We're gonna keep it. Please tell your friends about us. We're gonna keep Thank it tradish. Tradish. Very traditional. And um we're just gonna go to Sadie Adler right now. My horse is out of range. That sucks. Dude, I as I've been saying, I I forgot. I, I really truly forgot that um that scene was gonna happen right now. I mean I talked about in the intro of this video that everything was gonna go downhill from now, like everything was gonna be very dramatic and I, I didn't say anything with the intention <laughs> of that happening at all. So it kinda took me by surprise as well. Anyways, we're here with Sadie Adler. This one got me drunk. Mm. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as if what began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Oh, we got Lenny's body out as well. Robbed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Oh, God, shit, this fucking game. You don't really appreciate their friendship and their bond until shit like this starts happening. And then you realize and think back at how, how bonded these characters are with one another. Yeah. So, hmm. what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? 
We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the mm -hmm. pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone fallen fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Mm. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sadie Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, <laughs> yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, <laughs> sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. <laughs> well, ain't she coming? Ah. Uh, well, women can't fly, <laughs> sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope <laughs> and hope for the best. Ah. Alright, so to a send prompt our shows all your current options. <laughs> Just give it a good yank. Don't be shy. Okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. Fucking beautiful. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. This Keep is wild, going, huh? Sir. Fuck. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Fucking nuts. Imagine back in the day seeing like experiencing this. It's like crazy. I would love to see what the reaction would be of a person that lived in the 1800s transporting them, teleporting them to now and flying in planes and shit. Freaking loser mind. That's steady wins the race. All right, then, let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? it feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. Isn't it crazy how. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. We'll find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. It's crazy how Arthur gets the news today that he's sick. And then he's experiencing this crazy sure this? experience. No, not at all. The a beauty in that is... Could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. 
She did, did she? So much more beautiful when you play this on the computer. Arthur and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. There's the island. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome. <laughs> I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the uh, blue shirts discussion. Well, just say the word. Wow. Look at the sun, so like the rays. Ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? <laughs> not, Mr. Bullard. up ahead on the island that's the infamous Sisica penitentiary we shouldn't fly too near to it though sir sorry we're going in for a closer look what do you mean <laughs> mr. Morgan please this is most irregular well you want a happy customer don't you look this isn't funny now what on earth are you doing the guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. But I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. That's an hour so we're starting to descend here. unusual relax mr. Bullard take over and keep us well away I'll do my best this Philly isn't the easiest to control you know that ain't John please hurry nope not there looks like there he is oh, it's hard to tell though yep that's him Oh, oh shit. God. What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. <laughs> ascent! Ascent! Use oh, RT to ascend to the desired. Oh god. Didn't I tell you this would happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who Arthur, I'm coming. Not my John, John Marston, I'm coming for you. So that should take us back to land. Did they shoot the balloon? I'm surprised uh, they weren't able to pop the balloon. Now, Mr. Bullard, Those guards up. suck. Good lord. My heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job are not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> hmm. Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. 
I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Damn, my boy's got a shot. Hey, see up here. You're just she has zero tricks. Mrs. Adler has a lot. Can I can I change weapons? I don't, I don't think I can. I mean, I could, but yes, she does. I don't have one with a scope, so we're gonna have to stick to this one. Wait till I tell Baldessario about this. Nice. There we go. She got that one, huh? Just right, I'll deal with it. Nice. Hell yeah. Now before the auto aim wasn't kicking in or the, the aim assist. Now it is, it's much easier. As far as hell. Suck, bro. How can they not hit the freaking? <laughs> I would have loved it if Sadie and him would have like. I don't know 
what you've done, but uh, yeah, this, this, this just ain't it. My dead eye is gone. There's a, there's a guy right here. Take his ass out. All right, we got to pull out the shoddy. Um, no, that's my repeater. Damn it. Oh, now you want to run, huh? You <laughs> sons of bitches. Now you want to run. <laughs> Come here, little bitch. Come here. <laughs> I had a beat trip. Oh, I fucking love it. I may be sick, but I ought to still kick your ass. left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of like him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. <laughs> Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. <laughs> Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. That's crazy. It's just two of us. Nobody else gives a shit about rescuing Martian. That's insane. All right, let me see if... um. That's why I like the whole rescuing John mission because it's like a little it's not just one mission you know there is a stranger mission here what is this oh god sir are you okay hey. you hey. okay hey. You, you well, sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. Yeah, you're not well, friend. Uh, Butcher's Crick. Butcher's Crick. Uh, where? Uh, Butcher's Crick. Is that where you're from? Butcher's Crick. You want me to take you back, or... They're in uh, me. Uh, come on, let me get you home. Hmm. Yeah, this is one of those missions that I've never done, so I'm not. Uh, Butcher's Creek. I'm not too sure what the hell's gonna happen here. Take the stranger to Butcher Creek. All right, we're gonna uh. stole the stranger. Now I know he'll die if I go right. in water that's too deep, so I gotta be okay. Can I go through here? Be careful not to drown the, drown the stranger. <laughs> It's happened to me before. I uh, just gotta be careful. I'll follow the yellow marker. Um, just to make sure. Let's see what's going on here with Butcher Creek. What did they do to this cat? Did they like... Did they stab him, open him up, and put some shit in his stomach? Or what's the deal? Oh, Butcher's Creek. All right, we're here, mister. <laughs> you found the mule. Well, come, come, come 
Damn. Lemuel. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah, Place Lemuel on the porch. Distressed. You want me to just drop him? Yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, Lemuel. come on, get up here, help you. Up here. Since the troubles began, he's just, he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for lim... <laughs> what the fuck? What? Please, please, sir. Uh, uh, them you are not well, sir. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir, but with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. What the fuck? Which way is north? Hmm. What is this? Hey, buddy. Hey. I need some help. Yeah, dude, what's, what's going on? I don't know this place well. My sense of direction. It ain't good. Hey, where's the train station? Going around in circles here. But I don't see it all. Head on that way. You'll find it. <laughs> Mislead. It's fucked up. You are a gentleman, sir. <sighs> I wonder what he's gonna do. Is he either drunk or? Oh, well, I can sure go for a bath. What? Yankee <laughs> ship came down the river. What is up with people in this fucking town? All right, there's a stranger mission here as well. Reward. Forgive me, ma'am. Somebody's had a few. What is this here? The Grand Duchy of what? Is that the mission? So sorry. Uh, you guys oh, mind uh, getting the hell out of the way? Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, it's in here. Okay. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I've Great never done this before. What? And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Hello. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting okay? Miss Marjorie. Imagine saving people, Good taking them to your breast, Jesus. and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people. And I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers. And they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the knife man down. Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sorry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Yo, what the fuck is this? Easy, boy. There's no putting this off. Give him a whack. <laughs> Holy Not shit. Not nice. This guy's gonna beat my ass! Yo, this is cool as fuck. No fair! Think about what you I'm so I'm so sorry! 
come here, Bertram. There was, there was just no other way. Okay, I'm sorry, pal, but I just had to kick your ass. Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. <laughs> you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll <laughs> pay for what we broke. Come Give me a here, beer, will you? Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket, and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Hmm. Huh. That was fucking interesting. The smell of the grease paints. Find Magnifico. Where the fuck's Magnifico? Let's go, girl. Is that him over here? Magnifico. It's this one right here. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go to that. Damn, the missions in this chapter are pretty, pretty good. Out of the damn way. All right, let's go finish this off then. Let's go see what's going on with Mr. Magnifico. I thought we were going to be able to do the John Marston mission, like actually rescuing him, but it looks like we have to do a couple of missions, including obviously main missions before Sadie Adler becomes available again. Or so it seems that way. Let's go see where this guy's at. Should it be too far off? Come on. Right up this way. Ah, there he is, camping. Perfect. Can I use my horse? Oh, he's, he's right by the hot air balloon. What? Is that him? What the hell? Oh, that's just some random Hello? dude. Hello, sir. You know that's my hot air balloon? Whoa, holy crap. All right, there he is. Yeah. Yo, what the? <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing. If you say so. Dude, this is awesome, bro. This is amazing. Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. She cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? No, that's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. What the fuck? Hey, <laughs> partner, come back here. Hey, partner. Come here. Should I lasso him or what? <laughs> Where are you running off? This is awesome. Punish. You got the wrong end of this. Oh, where'd he go? Wait, he's not underwater, is he? Oh, hey, sh what? I'm going it alone. Come on. Yo, this dude is crazy. Oh. What 
the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Ugh. <laughs> That's a neat trick. <laughs> I've never done this shit ever. This is amazing. It's steak dinners and dancing girls with my Very good, very good. I'm probably not even supposed to lasso him, but I'm just gonna try it anyways. This is actually a, so fucking awesome, dude. Now where you gone? Magnifico! Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as Bro. bad as all that. This game just keeps amazing me at how detailed these side missions are. Magnifico, I'm a little tired. Okay, I'm gonna need to calm down. Just come out. Stop playing magic games. This is no time for nonsense, Magnifico. Over here, dummy. <laughs> He's in the tree. <laughs> oh, I can't last one. Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Uh, so uh, long, damn it. dummy. Where are you? you All right, hold up. <laughs> bro, hold on, bro. This guy's gonna drive me fucking insane. <laughs> Are we gonna get on the train and chase him? That would be fucking awesome. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, dude, thank God. Thank God I didn't get on the train. White way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some <laughs> friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. Mm. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. All no right. Said anything about splitting the gate? Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Whoa. Well, that was fucking awesome. That is the crazy, one of the craziest side missions, I, missions I've done, period. Wow. Okay, girl. Wow. All right. Well, yeah. I think.
think we're gonna have to do a mission for Dutch to move on forward. That was fucking insane. That was cool. That was really cool. Morning. Alright, we're back in the camp. Let's go to Dutch. See what's going on. Man, this is like the worst camp. Well, maybe not the worst camp we've had, but it's very, very dirty and swampy and bleh. Personally, I don't like it. Okay? It's just depressing in here. Oh, where the hell is Dutch? Oh, look at all that wax. What the fuck? What was that? Not bad. Not too shab. Can't carry that item anyways. Alright, Dutch. Smash is here. D4. Black to F5. Light to G3. Knight. You okay F5. there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back. And I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just... <laughs> I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning at chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Oh, God. Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just- There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Why, sir, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Hmm. Oh, God. Charles, will you ride with me? Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. Smoothie Brew Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. All right, well. Come on, my girl. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the 
The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, both Fuck are probably it. a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves <laughs> in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, <laughs> I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh, guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom. <laughs> it really does feel empty without without Hosea. It really does. Oh man. What a fuckery this game is. Incredible. I think when uh, when I played this game, obviously we didn't do a whole lot of side missions, but in chapter six, There's the bridge. I don't think I did much at all, besides just the main missions, of course. There so I'm really looking forward to those. To right okay, I see it. I think the last time I played this, I also well, went I by horse, anyway. <laughs> but I don't remember. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did go by canoe. I probably did. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles up river. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and the eagle flies. The Indians? Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading in the war. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. We're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention that. <laughs> well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. Oh, that's the hot air balloon. So be it.
Butcher Creek is remember that that guy that we saved his life that he tried to eat us like that first stranger we came across under the bridge who are they the locals they don't look too friendly until you meet the Murphys yeah these people are fucking strange all right let's walk it from here good evening Ooh, spooky. Maybe Charles will give us a little bit more info. Charles? Got any insight on these people, man? One of them almost ate me the other day. Should have seen that shit. I saved them and... Well, he wanted to eat me. Can you believe that? Hello there, Mr. Hey, Mad Hatter. Free hail, stranger. Might watch where you wander. Oh God. <coughs> it's a bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. I probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Let's go. I'll follow you, Charles. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home. Which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. <laughs> you see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. Could be some of them. Ooh. Do I have my bow and arrow here? I, I think I, I mean I have it on me. Follow them on foot. See where they're going. Whoa! All right, let's get it. I do have my bow and arrow. Perfect. Just in case. Follow me. Stay quiet. I will have my bow and arrow at the ready. Ready to kill. Kill him! Kill him! Wonder what happens if I shoot Charles in the ass. <laughs> Bro, look at the sun rays. Fuck, I love it. Those are the moon rays. Man, I love that. Come on. Up this way. Giddy up. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who? What the hell? What the fuck? We must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Jesus Christ. I shot that dude like three times. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's the stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. I said, bro, we ain't fucking around. We need to into the cave and flush it with dynamite. Um. I think we should.
flush him out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. <laughs> yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. This is basically where our next camp is gonna be. If you guys remember, this is where our next settlement is. That's why we have to clear these guys out. And this is, in fact... You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. Just in case. But, yeah, these guys are actually fucking ridiculous. These guys are fucking ridiculous. Him out. That's right. No. All right, this man. This man just wanted to come into the cave. This guy's crazy. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh my god. These guys are fucking insane. They're insane. Alright, I'm gonna stick with Charles just oh god. I'm gonna stick with Charles just in case. Am I stuck here? Char Char Charles? Okay, we gotta go this way. I think I run out of dynamites. Bro, these guys are fucking nuts. What happens when I hit skip the checkpoint? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that happens. Oh shit, I've never done that before. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go. It's okay. Okay. Let's go. It is crazy from? how I don't. Iceberg. What do we do with her? Take her then. I'll go get the others. Sure. It's crazy how I don't remember rescuing this lady from yes. here. You okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Bro. <sighs> Annisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um, it's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. Oh, I remember this, I yeah. yeah. They're fucking crazy. That's what they are. It's all right, miss. Dude, that's so insane. <laughs> Holy smokes. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. <laughs> I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, 
If you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Let me see if I can give the horse something, because this horse is. Wait, okay. was that was that for me? <laughs> Just try to relax now. Okay, right up this way, I think. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. I remember that was our next camp, but I forgot. I actually had forgotten that we had to clear out the camp from those fucking lunatics. But then I remember this part, bringing this poor girl. Jesus Christ. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! Wow. You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy group got it. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. Good guy, Arthur, man. This is death. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> She looks sick as shit, too. It's how to be the ugliest fucking horse I've ever ridden on. Jesus. Gotta get rid of this thing. But well, we've now migrated to a new settlement, a new little camp. Yes, it's a little bit dirty and sloppy and full of dead bodies. Quite disgusting, if I do say so myself, but... How you we are on? established okay. now. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my... Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? You know, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on oh, me. You're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Right. Calm down. I remember oh, this, but I remember her being the snitch. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. I remember this. <laughs> Fuck. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you, Mr. Pearson? Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. Like I said, everything is just fucking flat out dramatic. Chapter 6 Beaver Hollow. Far. Just insane, dude.
All right, guys. Alright guys, we're gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this episode. It was very crazy indeed. And as always, if you did, drop it a like. If you want to see more episodes up ASAP, I will hopefully catch you guys on the next one.